Uh, we, we mentioned offline, because we've been talking so much about visualization, uh, Grant Sanderson, 3 Blue One Brown. Mm -hmm. So he's inspired millions of people mm -hmm. with the kind of, uh, exactly the kind of way of thinking that you've been talking about. Which yeah, is I love his work. Converting sort of uh, mathematical concepts into visual, uh, like uh, visually representing them, exploring them in ways that uh, help you illuminate like the concepts. Um, what, what do you think is the role of that? So he uses mostly programmatic visualization. So it's the thing I mentioned where there's like animations created by writing uh, computer programs. Um, like what, what do you think, how scalable is that approach? But in general, what do you think yeah, about his approach? I think it's amazing. I should work with him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can share some of our visuals and he can make them in that amazing yeah. way. Um, so part of his storytelling, part, yeah. part of his like, um, is creating the visuals and then weaving a story with those visuals that kind of builds. Like there's also, I mean, there's also drama in it. You start yeah. with a small example and then you right. kind of, all of a sudden it, there's yeah. a surprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it really, I mean, it makes you fall in love with the, That's right. with, with the concept. Yeah. He, he does talk about that. His sense is like some of the stuff he he doesn't feel like he's teaching mm -hmm. like the core curriculum, which is something, you know, he, he sees himself as an uh, inspirational figure, but because I think it's too difficult to kind of convert all of the curriculum into those right. elements. And, and probably you don't need to. I mean, you, if people get to experience mathematical ideas in the way that he shares them, um, that will change them and it will change the way they, they think. And maybe they could go on to take some other mathematical idea and make it that beautiful. Well, he does that. Uh, there's a, he created a library called Manum and he open sourced it. And that library is the, uh, people should check it out. It's written in Python and it uses some of those same elements. Like it allows you to animate equations and animate little shapes, hmm. like people that, you know, he has a very distinct style in his videos. And what that resulted in, even though from a software engineer perspective, the code he released is not like super well documented or perfect, but him releasing that, now there's all of these Other people, people educating it. Yeah. it. And the, the cool, to me personally, the coolest thing is to see like people they are not, you know, don't have like a million subscribers or something is they 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 have just a few views in the video but it just seems like the process of them creating a video where they teach is like transformative to them yeah. from a student perspective it's yeah. the old Feynman thing the best way to learn is to teach right and then him releasing that into the wild is yeah it, it shows that that impact uh, yeah absolutely i think just giving people that idea that you can do that with maths and other subjects they're bound to be people all around who can create more which is cool yeah they definitely so i recommend that people do like javascript or python you can you can build like visualizations of mm -hmm. most concepts in high school math yeah. you can do a lot of kinds of visualizations and doing that yourself plus if you do that yourself people will really love it people actually people love visualizations of math <laughs> Yeah, because they. I mean, it's something in us that loves patterns, loves figuring out difficult things Absolutely. and the patterns in yeah. that are then are unexpected in some way. Yeah. Have you ever noticed that hotels are always filled with patterns? <laughs> I was just noticing it at the hotel I'm in now. All of their carpets are yeah. pattern carpets, and then they have patterns on the walls. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, we humans love. The symmetry and patterns, the mm -hmm. breaking of symmetry and patterns. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it's funny that we don't see mathematics as somehow intricately connected to that, but it is, right? I mean, that's one of the perspectives I love students to take is to be a pattern seeker. And <laughs> in everything. In, in Yeah, certainly in all of maths. I mean, you can think of all of maths as a kind of subject of patterns and not just visual patterns, but, you know, when you think about multiplying by five and the fact you can you know if you if you're multiplying 18 times five you can instead think of nine times ten 
that's a pattern that always works in mathematics. You can halve a number and double a number. And so, yeah, I just think there are patterns everywhere. And if kids are thinking their role is to see patterns and find patterns, it's really exciting. What do you think about like MIT Open Courseware and the release of lectures by mm-hmm. universities? I think it's good. I think it's good. I think the that is what started the MOOC I did was using that platform. At the so you ultimately think like the Udacity models is a little bit more effective than just a plain two hour lecture. I think there's definitely, you can bring in good pedagogy into online learning. And I think the idea of putting things online so that people all over the world can access them is great. I don't think the initial excitement around MOOCs sort of democratizing education and make it more equal um, came about because they found that the people taking MOOCs tended to be the more privileged people. Mm -hmm. So that was, I think there's still something to be found in that. There's still more to be done to help that online learning reach those principles. But um, definitely, I think it's, it's a good invention. And I have an online class that's for kids that's little free class that gives What's them... What's the topic? It's called How to Learn Maths. How to um, Learn Maths. Um, it shows maths as this visual creative subject and it shares mindset and some brain science. And um, kids who take it do better in maths class. We've studied it with like randomized controlled trials and given it to middle school kids and other middle school kids who don't take it but are taught by the same teachers, so their teachers are the same. And the kids who take the online class end up 68% more engaged in their maths class Mm. and do better at the end of the year. So that's a little six-session, 15-minute class, and it changes kids' maths relationships. So it is true that we can do that with some words – that aren't, you know, not. it's not a huge change to the education system. 